All day, money, power, respect, three the hard way. Welcome back to three the hard way TV, the quarantine edition. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. <laughs> we got the beautiful <laughs> Brittany in the house doing house shit. On her, ta on her Taco Tuesday. Um, Taco Tuesday. Taco Rico Tuesday. We, we, we got my bro Ken here. Again, ladies. He, Ken. He's, he's still single, ladies. Um, still single. Still single. We got my boy Real. You West Coast, West is. Coast. Via you West know what it Chicago. Is. Um, I'm on an island today, though. <laughs> 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 Uh, on today's show, we got a question. This is this is Ken's question. I'm gonna introduce it. Then the panel is gonna chime in and get their opinion, like like we normally do on Three the Hallway TV. And we also would like for the audience to hit that subscribe button, share this with a friend, share this with your mama, share it with your pops, and chime in below. Hit that bell, all that good shit. Um, Ken's question is. At what point in the dating phase or the dating stage do you decide to make it an exclusive relationship? Exclusive, 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 exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to need y'all to get in contact with your sound boy. <laughs> Hey, hey. Tell them don't miss a day. Don't worry, I, don't worry, I got us. Don't worry, I got us. It's coming. Oh, we got to <laughs> sound it up. <laughs> hey, hey, so this, this, this sound like a broke rendition of a WZUP. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so we we gonna start with you. Uh, we gonna start with the woman on the panel, ladies first, of course. Did she so, get the CD, ladies first? Huh? We're gonna get, we get you a copy of that album, ladies first. Oh, for sure. In stores, yeah. iTunes, downloaded. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, just before I answer, because I'm all about transparency. So, when you, what is your definition of exclusive? Because I think sometimes us as Female and male creatures, we have different definitions when it comes to work. Absolutely. Okay. okay. One, one, one meaning could be exclusively you and her or, or Ken, you and what them. Is it? So what's Ken's definition? Right, and what's Ken's definition? Uh, I feel like... We know your definition, uh, Dion. I feel like exclusively it's just, you know, me and her, you know, we. I'm not entertaining nobody. She not entertaining nobody. It's just strictly, you know, we all we all about each other. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go with my answer and say when y'all start having sex without a condom. That mean y'all exclusive? Period. That mean okay. That dick is mine at that point. <sighs> it's like copyright. <laughs> That's why I'm a carbon copy. <laughs> <laughs> we got time for your duplicate. <laughs> we don't have no time for your duplicate. So I mean, because, and the only reason why I say that is because I personally feel like if we have come to that stage, I feel like, yeah, it's very well my business on who you seeing, who you talking to, who you who else you may be screwing. So everything that you do is my business at that point. Right. So yeah, if I gave you exclusive rights to enter this pussy without a condom, then I have exclusive rights to you. It's a good answer. Good answer. My boy real, go ahead. Yeah, I don't want to hear my answer to it. Why not? Um, <laughs> what you mean? So, <laughs> so with Brittany, I, I I see what Brittany's saying. Um, but with me, I'm gonna just go half function. You know what I'm saying? I've never used the uh 
Kind of. Like, no. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you talking to the wrong one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, what that is? What that is? <laughs> Why he like that shit we used to put water in? The the water balloon <laughs> with the funny smell. <laughs> she sm she she smell like niggas doing donuts in the street. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all some funny mother. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but <laughs> I don't even. Um, hey, she made me lose my train of thought. She on you, know? the <laughs> you to say it. <laughs> Let's do it live. <laughs> In that case, then it ain't never exclusive for me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I usually don't even sweat the exclusive thing. You know, like I just let it roll how it roll and. Having the dice turn, they usually, whenever it hit, it hit. I ain't gonna be asking you as we exclusive and telling you. No, we exclusive. And so it's not the point of you having to ask. It, I mean, it should just be that's just what it is at that point. If yeah. you can get pressed about me doing anything outside of pertaining to you, then that that that's exclusive. Like, I, you, we don't need to have a conversation say, okay, well, you know, it's been 93 right. days. And then, you know, after last night, I just totally think, no, that's not going to be the conversation. It's not. Because, uh, let me think about my answer. Cause, yeah, you think about your answer. Let me go. I've probably on. only been exclusive once. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me, let me hop in there real quick. Uh, now, this question for the lady. Now, you know how your daddy speaking. They just say, you know, you and the guy, y'all dating between six to nine months, you know, and you let them, you let them know, like, look, like, I ain't looking for no serious, you know, we just going with the flow, you having fun. But over a course of time, y'all bonding, y'all kicking, y'all doing boyfriend, girlfriend things, y'all going out to eat, spending quality time, you know, he's sporting you. He's showing you how a lady's supposed to treat, you know, you know, to uh, get your hair did, like doing stuff a guy's supposed to do, like he goes to spend the money. This it's, it's called courting. Yeah. Court. No, okay. no, no. Now, Courting. <laughs> trick it off. And then, oh, and then, what they making them at? And then the condoms. <laughs> now, now, no, nah, you already know that's me. But uh, now the condoms come off. You, know you watching the Red Fox, San Francisco? <laughs> no, that's beyond uh, that's Roseanne phone. Oh, <laughs> and uh, the cars, the cars just come off, and you know, the guy want more, but you don't want more. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. You know, what I'm saying? you you don't want more, and you basically like, man, look, you know, I ain't ready. We having fun right now, like, why well, fuck it up? And then I'm, you know. What's your, what's, your, what's your outlook on that? What's your opinion on that? So on at, that, at that point, um, because, you know, the, it could be several reasons as to why she's saying what she's saying. Um, not to take anything from you personally, but at that point, I think that you need to check yourself about what it is that you're doing. Because... In those instances, it's one thing to kind of say, like, okay, you know, we're not going to come into this thing, you know, want to anything, but feelings in your heart is involuntary. So, you know, as time go on, and I mean, from her standpoint to even say that I don't want anything exclusive, let's just keep it like this. What is the, what is the game at that point, if I'm getting all of the benefits of not being exclusive with you, what's going to change if I say, okay, yeah, I'm going to be your woman? You still going to get my hair done. We still going to spend time. We still going to be fucking with our condoms. So there's no, there's no, how can I put this? There's no incentive for, for us becoming exclusive or you changing my mind. Now, you done blew my mind because I probably at one point didn't even think that I wanted another relationship. 
based on things that I went through or things that I just seen and I don't want to go through. That could be one thing. But I think at that point, as a man, it comes your time to check yourself about what it is that you really want. And I think a lot of times men put what they want out of a relationship to the back burner and kind of let the woman lead, sort of speak. It's just like, okay, if she rocking, I'm rolling. And that's not always fair. Because, like, and I was just telling somebody the other day, like, they were saying, oh, well, you know, happy wife, happy life. No, it's happy spouse, happy house. Because he's a human, too. He should be happy, too. It's not just a one-way street. So, I like flowers delivered to my job. Surprise exactly, me with some roses. Like, I, like the, I like to meet you in the dough on the phone, on my knees. I, hey, it, it, just, it just happens. So, I like that. I like that, though. But don't give me no flowers. Give me some Jordans. I don't want no Jordans. <laughs> hey, look, hold on. let me let me chime in a little bit to piggyback off what you were saying, uh, Bree. Um, right, I wasn't even finished. Why you trying to piggyback? Y'all didn't let Ken, Ken didn't even answer the question. How do he know when he exclusive? What's his parameters on that? No, he, hey, hey, hold on. he gave me a I know, yeah, he gave you. It's, it's gonna be, my, 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 what I got to say is real quick. <laughs> okay. Well, like the old folks used to say, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Exactly. Exactly. That went out, that went out in 98. I'm bringing it back, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, my boy. So I think at that so, point, I think at that point, if you, if she ain't, if you ain't seeing the future, if you ain't seeing the future, if her future ain't lining up with what your future sees, I think you should exit stage left. Because I think just like Fabulous, my boy Fabulous said, the precious thing that you can give a person is time. And six to nine months on some dizzy Dora bitch who don't know what the fuck she want in life. And I'm showing you everything that you deserve or you worthy of. And you I can't I can't build self-worth in somebody else. They have to identify with that when that in themselves. So whatever demon that they fight in. You got to let them deal with that on their own, but you can love a person through their demise, but at the same time, if that ain't what they want to do, because some people like to stay there. They like to... But, but all that's good, fine, and dandy, but sometimes you can put your expectation on somebody else because you getting her hair done, taking her out to eat, that might be something that feel exclusive to you, but it might be the basic of basic to her. She might be like, this don't mean nothing to me. Like, that might not be what she expect from being exclusive with somebody. So y'all got to be on the same page, you know what I'm saying? Because some people think, like, you know, you get with some women, they might think, oh, okay, you buy me flowers, get my hair done, that's cool. But what if she had 10 other dudes before you that did the same thing? So now it's just a normal to her. It's nothing special. Right. right, but he didn't say that they were doing anything anything special. He just said that if they were rocking for six to nine months and he's courting you and right. you're still saying, hey, I don't want a relationship. So again, regardless of he's doing it or not, that's still six to nine months you just spent with a motherfucker who ain't on shit that you want. Hey. Because you're it courting, you're courting to have a wife. You're courting to have a woman. She courted be. me because I just want incentives. It take a year for somebody to court me. I ain't no easy six to nine months. Motherfucker, motherfucker buy that nigga some Timberlands. Hey, motherfucker buy that nigga some Timberlands getting $40. It's over with. Hey, uh, okay. that's, why, that, that's why he in a relationship. Somebody bought him that cap $5. He was gone. He was so <laughs> <laughs> hey, in the words of the great philosopher DMX, if you love some, let it go. If it come back to you, then it's yours. Man, I don't believe what, that. What's that Earl? <laughs> Earl said that. Because I could have swore Teddy said that or Luther. <laughs> so Barry, one of them hey, said that. When it was introduced to me, it was on flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. <laughs> hey, Ken. <laughs> All so, my niggas so, get down like what? So, Ken, what do you feel? How do you feel like? When you feel it's exclusive, what what's the parameters for you? Like I'm doing all this, it's exclusive. For me, I feel like okay, if I'm if I'm holding you down, and I'm showing you, I'm showing you in every way possible that I got your back no matter what. 
I'm 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 being a man like like you fall I'm 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 there to catch you. You I'm 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 definitely you at your lawyers. You definitely have my lawyers. We we talk about personal shit, share personal shit. We we communicate. We we vent to each other. Like nah, you my bitch, man. I'm saying things you. I'm saying things with you that I've never told no one, and I feel comfortable enough. I feel safe around you. I feel comfortable around you. You know, you open up your home to me. I open up my <laughs> home to you. Ah, uh, you my bitch, man. You you go yeah. get it together. <laughs> you know it's hard. <laughs> you know it's hard for two people to be on the same level at the same time. That's 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 a rarity right there. So you uh, you know at that situation. But you don't do that with everybody though. You don't you don't you don't share your deepest darkest thoughts and fears and hopes and dreams and ambitions with everybody. It's some people that you have in your life that is just to scratch an itch, it's just to get the tip wet, and then you have those that you can see as more of a a biz a business standpoint or this person is, you know, easy Everything to business, so you, everybody has a particular place. But the thing of the matter is is having a partner. And see, a lot of people don't understand what it means to actually have a partner. Because I can have anybody to make my dick wet. I can have anybody with a fat ass. I can have any of that. So that that means nothing really to me. But if you got a partner, that's a that's 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 on a whole different level. Because anything beyond that is exclusive, and that's just pretty much the icing on the cake. When you got a partner, when you got somebody who you can, again, share anything with, I can come to you in my filthy rags and you will still treat me like a king and queen, like, that's when you got a partner, somebody that's going to ride for you. And, and that's what a lot of people is not about. They're not about partnership. And I feel like it's very important that people realize as you're courting people, as you're dating people, find out how they really was raised. Because some motherfuckers know how to do shit based on survival. They know what to say. They know what to do because they need to make it to their next level. Everybody ain't raised up on love. So if you into one of those situations where I'm only with this nigga or I'm only with this chick so I can get this up out of them and then after that I'm moving around, it's pointless. So, so, so Ken, do you love her? Oh, this about Ken? Oh, I just about, oh, you know. <laughs> oh, you know, okay. You know her because he just said you my bitch. I ain't never heard nobody right. say that like that before. So the thing you is, is, is it's uh like so you you first you need to dictate what's the cause you can be exclusive and still don't be in a relationship with somebody. Hey, so, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all my exclusive story. Like that shit what? lasted five hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chip. Shout out, bro. My woman watching this. Um, <laughs> it started with the red Chevy that left Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. What? First, first time we was together. First time we ever did something. Bro, we got done. Got dressed. We leave the crib. She look at me. She say, you know I'm your woman now, right? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> the fuck ain't left me since. <laughs> so, so I just gave in. You hear me? Don't give in. What Don't give in. What? What Don't was give that in, bro. Lie. <laughs> what you mean, lie? But look, if you if, if you gotta have a conversation, especially nowadays with the way things going on, you got motherfuckers on um Facebook and Instagram doing fans only pages selling. Pussy and dick pictures and all <laughs> type of shit. And which Dion is definitely a promoter of. So <laughs> if, you got, if, if you got some OnlyFans only stuff, you want some more exclusive rights, definitely feel free <laughs> to forward your videos and pictures to him. He will gladly post it on his platform. Hey, hey, look, stop talking about my side hustle. Um <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey you ladies, hey you ladies, check out my fans on Ken at HPA.com, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Hands only. Hey, but if you 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 got to, like she said, you gotta do some background check, 
on these people before you call yourself being exclusive with them. And you most definitely got to check out their family history before you have a baby with them. Because sometimes we move too fast with the shit we doing. You run up in some raw, you get a baby by a crazy bitch. Oh, that sounds like then, that. Then, huh? then, then, you know, motherfucker try to fuck your life up, man. So you, you have to kind of do your homework. And my advice to you, I don't care what's going on, man. At least wait two years before you take that rub off, man. So how, wait a minute, because hey, 2017 I mean, was the last year of exclusivity. Just, what you just said didn't make no sense. What? You just told him. I'm speak. I'm 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 speak. Take it from a man who knows. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like my mistakes, I'm trying to get game to the next and the next and the next. So, so up. my question is, and then I'm going to let real come in. So at what point is it a, 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 no longer a mistake? What mistake? What are you talking about? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say anything is a mistake because you, you, if you, if you fully aware of what you're doing, you Which know what always. you're doing. You know what I'm Which saying? always. It's it just a, a situation can turn bad, so I, I take back a mistake. Situations oh. can turn bad. In, in order to try to get the best uh, productivity out of a situation, do your best research and figure things out. Okay. Thank you for that clarity, sir. Okay, Dr. Field. <laughs> Catch me outside. Hey, How about that? Just, 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 <laughs> just uh, free game. Use it. Use your brain, man. Don't follow your heart. Fuck that. Use your brain. Six to nine months, her time up. It takes nine months to have a baby. Her time is up. She gonna make the cut or she gotta fucking go. Everybody's different. Because there are some people that have met and a month later they got married and was together 50 years. But you just... Some of your gut, like, don't ignore hey. the warning signs. Do hey. not ignore the warning signs. When you all, ignore all, the warning signs, people, you fuck up. All them people that met and got married a week later and been married 50 years, that was a long time ago. Anything got the 2000s? You will laugh. You will laugh. You will laugh because it's hey, still happening in the 2000s. It can't because he said they met and been married 50 years, so it ain't happening. <laughs> no, he was, just, he was giving a ballpark. Hey, I told but you. I, I do did, see long longevity, longevity marriages last off of a minimum of dating. I do. Minimum so, what? A that minimum means, of dating. Oh, I thought you hey, said dick. I was about to say, too. no, no, no. Yeah. Hey, all my no. should be, I still sign business contracts. No, no, no that's not true. That's so, Bree, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, so let me ask you this. So when you give a person too much too soon without them earning it, so they for you. pretty much they pretty much feel like, hey, she I ain't even gotta work hard. She is what it is. Would you? So that's what I always do. I always take myself out of the situation and put myself in the shoes of the other people. Just like for instance, with all this COVID stuff going on. A lot of people, you know, feel like, well, shit, what I'm going to go to work for, keep risking me getting sick. If I could just sit at home and collect unemployment and they giving me damn that more, I was getting paid. Where I work. It's the same thing. Yeah. Why, why do it? Because hey, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That hey, means I that if it ain't and again this is from a woman's standpoint as well as a man's standpoint if i'm i'm i have to, i had to learn that to stop doing wifely things for people while i'm still a girlfriend fuck that shit ain't doing it look I, not gonna I, do it because I, there's no incentive for you to go want to go harder because you'll be sitting around in a motherfucking 20-year relationship and y'all still ain't motherfucking with me. Right. Now y'all only bonded by a common law and some little funny looking ass kids. No. Illinois don't got, Illinois ain't got common law. Nope. Unfulfilled potential. 
Whatever. Hey, whomever, hey whatever. Ken, since they just made this about you. <laughs> it was his just, question. I know, but Dion go ask him, do we love her? <laughs> you, you see her face? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that don't scare me. This is Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, ain't nothing wrong with buying somebody something right off top because I ain't even gonna lie to you. The very first time I met my girl, the very first time I met her, I was working for Locker. She came in to buy some. I gave her my number. She wanted to buy some, I don't know, some boots, some Ab Max or something. I walked up to the register and paid for them. Not even knowing if I was gonna ever see her again. I'm done. Not knowing if I ever was gonna see her again. And it worked out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I ain't put her through hell all these years later. <laughs> but, but so when was you exclusive? The first day? Or it took you nine months? The first day. See? I was exclusive. I'm one of them, I'm one of them love stories. We got married three weeks later and been together ever since. Boy, he's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be in the, get this nigga in, a, in the fiction section. <laughs> you said, you said, what did you say? Come give me a what? <laughs> Somebody get this nigga a nose. <laughs> a red one, goddamn <laughs> Shit. Hey, hey, hey. You listening? Yeah, I'm listening, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Because this is recorded, I'm a I'm a chill out. <laughs> Cause you know I had to come back for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, chill. Hey, she know how to end the show. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, on that note, y'all leave y'all comment below. Let us know when y'all think a relationship. Is exclusive. Um, continue to watch the show. We back. So, we gonna get y'all. No, coins. wait, wait. We didn't even get Ken's because he looked like we shit it in his Cheerios. So oh. we didn't even get what he got from this. So what he gonna do? Because the you people go, wanna what, know. Hey, hey, what this person you talking about gonna do? Uh, or you just gonna play her this Zoom? <laughs> I think he's gonna. Uh, he already cried. I think I, I think he ready. I think he. <laughs> hey, you gonna laugh? <laughs> he gonna cry in the comments. Well, oh, I think uh, he honestly though, my homie man, you know, been telling me, man, he uh, he fed up. <laughs> man. You know, my homie, my homie been telling me. You know, my homie been telling me, man, he fed up, man. He just. He just ready, uh, he say ready to shower this love on the motherfucker who's gonna really appreciate it, man. It really worth it, man. Tell that nigga fly down here where I'm at. They all worth it. And where is that? Somewhere far. <laughs> ain't far enough. Yo ass fell. <laughs> <laughs> they was perfect hey. until your tainted ass came in there. It was, it was all hey, over Hey, me. it, it became that exclusive nigga. when I got there. <laughs> that, nigga, that, that nigga, that nigga is the COVID. Oh my God, man. Hey, man, <laughs> thank, thank y'all for watching. <laughs> hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. We're going to have I've new shows exclusive. coming every day. We're going to keep it coming. We're going to keep it funky, man. We'll be back tomorrow with something new for you, man. Thank y'all for watching. Hey, hey, keep it exclusive. Hey. Keep hey, it Hey, ladies, sit oh this way, man. Check out my Facebook, Kenneth Ivy, man. Check out my fan page, <laughs> kenneth.hpa.com, you know. Hey, I'm, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this information below this video. Y'all go check him out. That's Kenneth Ivy at Facebook? E everything, everything he got. I'll, I'll say, text me all your, I got, I know what your Facebook is. I'm going to put it below. If you got a Snapchat, if you got an Instagram, send it all to me. I got you, bro. Fans only. So this sounds like uh, a fake ass love connection religion, y'all. Y'all trying to get together. That's what this sounds like. Uh, <laughs> we trying to make it exclusive for my boy. 
Right. No, nah, we just have fun. I'm mean, talking shit, man. He telling y'all. He, 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 he ain't going to want to be exclusive with nobody now. He hurt now. He heard he go shower that love. His homie go shower that love on somebody that's worth it. No, he ain't. The one that's worth it, he go treat like shit. <laughs> y'all have y'all have a good night or a good day or good morning. We out. Keep it. Peace. All day, money, power, respect. Three the hard way.